Hey everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I have a quick tutorial on how you can create a shaped edge card using text. Now, first I have to give credit to my admin, Teresa, who is an amazing card maker and creator in general. Um, she does fabulous stuff in the Silhouette Studio software, and she's always posting on the Silhouette Secrets with Ellie May Facebook group to inspire others. So thank you, Teresa. And I asked if I could show how to create this card. It really is very simple. So first we're going to start off and I'm going to simply use the project wizard, but check out the links in the description below because I show you in the Silhouette Studio software how to create two different styles of card bases. So you could create the card base based on whatever size that you want to work with. I'm going to come up to file, new project wizard, and I'm going to simply choose the card and start. It's going to open this new card. It's a five by seven card on a new design mat. Now, the one thing I will tell you here is that I do not like this dashed line. It is too close together. So for the cardstock I use, if I were to cut this, it would just basically fall apart. So the first thing I always do is I right click, choose ungroup, and I'm going to select the, the line in the center, and I'm going to come over to the line styles panel. And I'm going to simply just increase the size of this score line. And then this score line overlaps at the end here. So I'm just going to decrease the size of this just a little bit because it doesn't really need to be on the very edge of the card. That can cause issues with your score line cutting into the card at the very edge. So I'm going to select both and I'm going to choose group again just because I want that score line to stay in the middle and I don't want it to move at all. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the text style tool and I'm simply going to type out all in caps birthday. And when you do this for the first time, I would highly recommend that you use a bold font. You can play around with other font styles as you get used to this and start creating but a bold font is going to give you a good base to hold on to. So I'm simply going to come over to my textile tool and give it a second to open. It really depends on how many fonts you have loaded on your computer when you first open the textile panel. That's when it loads the fonts into the software. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type impact. And you can see it's taken it a little bit and I'm going to hit enter. So this is going to give us a big, bold font. And I'm simply going to make a copy of this, and then I'm gonna double click on this, and I can go ahead and I can change the text, highlight the text, and change it to happy. And I'm just gonna move that off to the side here. We can use that here in a little bit. So then for this text, what I wanna do is I'm going to bring it up here, and I want the text to go vertically along this side. I'm actually going to make a copy, so I'm going to select this, come over to my rotate panel, which is the transform panel on the right hand side and the third tab at the top is your rotate. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then what I can do is I can use this corner bounding box and I can get the size that I would like this to be. So I want it to stretch edge to edge with my card. And then what I wanna do is I'm going to move this and I can actually easily select both of these, the card base and my text. I'm gonna use the align options in the top and I'm going to align the right edge. And that did not work because my text is still a path. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a copy of that. My text is still editable text. It is aligning it to the edge of the selection box. So what I wanna do is I wanna right click, choose convert to path, and then I'm going to select my card base and my text again, and I'm going to choose the align to right, and that is going to bring it to the corner. Because you have this excess space around your editable text, it was aligning it to your selection box and not to the text. So it's a very good point to make, but I always make a copy because this text is still editable. It's going to give me my text options. However, this text is not, it is now a vector design. And then what I can simply do is the first thing I wanna do is I want to right click, I wanna right click on my card base and I'm going to ungroup this. 
and I'm going to click off of it. Now I want to ungroup this because I do not want this score line to move. And then I want to select the edge of my card base and I'm simply going to drag this in where I would like it. And then I'm going to drop that right there. Now I can select my card base, hold my shift key down and select my text. And then I'm going to right click and choose weld. That is going to weld it to the base of my card. Now I'm gonna change this to a little bit different color here. You can see my score line disappeared or it looks like it did. However, <clears throat> it really didn't. It's just on top. The card base is on top of my score line. So if I right click and choose send it back, you can see my score line appears again. So I'm going to select everything, including my score line and my card base, and then I'm going to group that together. Right click and group or control G. And then I have my card. Now you can come in here and you can see I made this card very quickly. I have a little edit there. There's a little bump. You could alter that as you would like. And depending on the font style that you choose and how what letter you choose, you could use this for congratulations. You could use it for um, grandson is what Teresa used this for, um, but you could really use it for anything that you would like. Now you can simply bring in this happy. You could cut happy out of a different color and add your happy to the front of this card. You could embellish it in any number of ways. Now let's take a look at how we could embellish on this in a couple different ways. So one way you could do this, since we made a copy, we have our original text. I could make another copy of this. So I'm simply holding my Alt key down and making a copy. And then you could cut this out of a different color cardstock. So if I come in here and I select red, I could cut this out of red cardstock and I can layer it on top. So it gives it a little bit different look. I could uh, make a copy of this and let's change this color to yellow so we can see it a little bit better. And I could come over to my offset panel which is the star on the right, and I could choose an internal offset, and then I'm going to decrease that so it is just a slight internal offset of everything. Click Apply, and I'm going to Control G to group that together, and then this internal offset, let's change this, give it a color here, and we'll choose some orange and you could layer this on top. So there is just a little bit of an offset around your design. Another option that you could do is you could simply make several copies of this happy. So I'm just going to select and make a couple copies. Since these are still editable text, I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to right click and choose convert to path. And then I will be able to place these and align them so that they are all aligned to the center. And then I can use this vertical spacing and make those all spaced evenly. I could make each one of these a different color. I didn't select the other one, select this one, blue. I could do a print and cut of this design. Um, there are multiple things you could do. You could um, move, let's move all of these out of the way. And I will show some variations of the actual cards at the end. Looks like I did not make a copy of that. So I'm simply going to take this birthday, double click on it, and highlight the text and I can choose happy just recreate that real quickly and this time I will make a copy and then I could put it over here and what I could do is I could select one of these font styles 
a from my library that is called a stacked font. So if I come over here to my library, I'm going to come up to all files and I'm just so simply going to search stacked. And you can see I have quite a few of them. And let's just choose this coach here. If I double click on that, come back to my design mat and I have this that I can enlarge. I could cut this out of some adhesive vinyl and add it to my card. I could make a copy. Let's see, can I fit three of these on here? Not quite. And it gives it just a little bit different look. So there's all kinds of things that you could play around with. And let's make a copy of that for the original. And I wanna make sure that this is select this one, right click, convert to path, and then I would be able to use the align tools. That one, hit undo. My computer is kind of processing here. Align center and align vertical, and you have just a little bit different look for all kinds of different cards that you can make simply with one card style, and that's just using happy birthday. So you could use this for congratulations. You could use it for um, trying to think of some other things. I hope you have some ideas. I would love to see what you come up with in my Silhouette Secrets with Ellie Mae Facebook group. Share your images, share your cards that you create, and I hope you have fun with this. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Now here's a look at a couple of the cards that I made. This was done with the print and cut in the format that I showed you by adding the color into the happy and the birthday. This one is purple adhesive vinyl that I had to cut and attach to the front of the card base that was cut out. This next one is adhesive vinyl that was cut using the stacked font that I showed in the demonstration. And then this card happens to be, I think, my favorite. So this is all done with print and cut and I added a pattern fill that was a beach scene to the entire card base and then I took one of the colors from the water and I made it a little bit darker and I added that to the happy part. So you can see the full card here. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for joining me.